Hi, this is a tutorial on the Super Nintendo emulator. Uh, the particular one that EmulationCD.com uses in their flash drives and in our CDs is called SNES 9X. That's the one we're going to be using right now. So I'm going to assume that you've already opened it or installed it. So you just go ahead and open it. It'll open up in this window. And um, probably the very first thing you're going to want to do when you first open this up is go to Options, Settings, and make sure that your um, directory is in here as far as where your games are. This is uh, showing the program where to look to find the uh, Super Nintendo games. And um, automatically in our installation package it goes straight to C, Program Files, and Super Nintendo folder. So uh, just make sure that's in there. Click OK. If it's not in there, just browse and put it in there. Once you're done with that, next thing you're probably going to want to do is configure your uh, game controller that you're using, if you have one. Um, just go to jo Joypad Configuration, and here you just pick the uh, the control that you want, and um, uh, if it's up, then move your controller up. If it's left, move your controller left, and uh, so on and so forth. And when you're done with that, click OK. And when that's done, you're probably going to want to uh, configure this so it looks right to you. Right now I'm going to open a game. You go to File, Load Game. And normally you'll see a whole bunch of games here, but for our purposes I only put one game. Um, I'm going to open that, Donkey Kong Country. You can see it kind of opens up a little small in here. Now you may not like that. You may want the uh, image to open up uh, stretched to fill this entire box. Or you might want the image to fill up the entire screen. So you'll click full screen. Now if you want to change it just for now or um, just for this time that you're playing, you can just go to Window. If you'd like it to change so that every time you open something up it permanently goes that big then you go to display configuration and you can change what size everything turns into full screen or whatever and then click OK now if your intention is to put a cheat in then you're going to want to go to cheat and game genie pro action replay codes now you're going to want to do this after you've already opened the game because the cheat um, option only works when a game is already open. If your emulator hasn't opened the game, then it's not going to be available to you. So anyhow, you open this up, type in your cheat code, click Add, and then uh, OK, and you got your cheat code in there. So now, uh, Pretty much every other option that you're going to have is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to either enable a mouse or any of the other things that you're able to do. Um, and that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, that was a tutorial on Super NES emulator called SNES 9X. Thank you very much.